Hey everyone, are you relaxed and sitting down, kicking back? That's good, because you're gonna stay there. <laughs> this is an exercise you could do right on your couch. Preferably an armchair where you have something to rest your hand on. So if you're on your couch, scoot on over to the best place of the couch, the end seat. Now you could do this exercise with or without weights. So I'll show you either way, and we're going to do some wrist exercises which made me think of verses about hands in the Bible, which made me think about Jesus and how many different things he did with his hands. So when I think about all the things he did, he was a carpenter, so he built things with his hands. So his hands were strong, his arms were strong. He prayed, we know Jesus prayed all the time. I'm sure he used his hands for prayer. Um, he used his hands to honor women. Now this one is so important to me because women in those days, they were not honored at all. And Jesus not only showed attention to women, but he honored women and showed how women should be treated. And in this verse that we have from Luke, um, it's Luke 12, 10 through 14. This shows one particular instance where Jesus healed a crippled woman and he healed her on the Sabbath, which was something that the Pharisees didn't want her to do. But in this case, he felt like the woman was more important than the Sabbath. So it said on a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. So he didn't just heal her from afar. He actually reached out to her. He put his hands on her, and then he told her that she could be healed. And as soon as she was healed, she praised God. So there's so many different lessons you can learn from this. Um, one, you can learn that you should expect men to treat you with respect. You should expect men to honor you with their hands. <laughs> so I can do a whole sermon on that, but we're going to keep it short here. Another thing is when we are healed by Jesus, we should remember and praise him because that's the first thing that she did. She praised him. So this exercise today is going to be a wrist exercise. So we're going to start with no weights because you might just be sitting here with no weights at all. So you're going to start with your hand up and we are going to start with bringing your hand up and down, curling up and down. And this is flexion, wrist flexion here. So you can curl and let it go. Curl and let it go. All right, and we can do this with our corrective exercise count, which would be bring it up, hold for two, and four, three, two, one. Up, hold for two, and four, three, two, one. Now, if you have weights, you won't need much weight. I have a little three pound weight here. So you're gonna flex your weight up, hold for two, and four, Three, two, one. Up, hold for two, and four, three, two, one. And you get the picture here. We're gonna go for 15 on that. So that's the flexion, all right? Now we are gonna go for extension. So now you're gonna bring your palm facing down, and you're going to bring your wrist up. Hold for two, and four, three, two, one. Up, hold for two. Oh, guess what else we could do? We could do both at the same time. That way this exercise gets done faster. <laughs> Unless you want to have all the time in the world and do this while you're watching TV and you don't care how long it's taking. But look, you can get both wrists done at the same time if you're on an armchair. Now, if you are cozying up to the one side of the couch, you might not be able to do that unless you prop some pillows up over here, but you get the point. All right, so now with our weight, 
We're gonna, now this exercise, you want to have it supported. That's why I'm sitting here at an armchair because you want to have support for your wrist. All right, so we'll take it up, hold for two and four, three, two, one. Up, hold for two and four, three, two, one. And you can do both. Uh, oh, I feel like I'm riding a motorcycle now, <laughs> which I don't do and I never will because too afraid of motorcycles. Up, hold for two. Unless it's that Harry Potter ride at Universal. <gasps> that is the best because I know I can't crash because it's the Universal ride. That is so worth the wait if you ever want to go to Universal and stand in a very long line, but it's a very beautiful line. And that ride is so much fun. You're on a motorcycle and you're cruising around. Man, it's fun. All right, so now we're doing supination. All right, so supination, you're just going to turn your hand from down to up. So down and up. That is supination, down and up. All right, and if you were to do this with both, you would go down and up, down and up. Now this one, we're just gonna do it back and forth and not worry about that count. All right. So you wanna do, 15 on each of them. So I think I did about five. So we'll do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And if you want to get real tricky, you can go, you can do one like this, one like this, and a supination. So we'll do a flexion, an extension, and a supination. Flexion, extension, and supination. Or you could just do it all like here, your flexion, and two at a time if you want. 15 of those. Turn it around, do the extension. 15 of those. And then the supination. 15 of those. Now, why would you do wrist exercises like this? <laughs> well, you might have broken your wrist in the past or sprained a wrist or anything like that. So you are going to always have wrist instability if you've ever broken or sprained a wrist, just like your ankle. If you've ever broken or sprained your ankle, you're likely to have ankle instability for the rest of your life. So doing exercises like this is going to help strengthen all the little muscles around your wrist, all of your supporting um, muscles. So that will help you stabilize so that your wrist will get stronger so that you won't be as likely to re-sprain or re-break your wrist. And a lot of times people have trouble with doing push-ups and exercises like plank because their wrists are too weak. So doing exercises like this can really help out that strength that you need in your wrist to get some better push-ups going on, all right? So hopefully as you're just sitting around watching TV or doing any of that, you can start working on your wrist. You can even do them alternating like this and just have fun with it, get stronger wrists, and I'll see you tomorrow for another weak muscle and another Bible verse. See you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.